Hello, darling. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the Daily Inspiration Oracle Reading provided to you, darling, by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I'd like for you to take a moment to think about anything that is troubling you, any issues, problems, or concerns you may be having, where maybe you're looking for a different perspective, insight, or maybe even a sign from the universe. You may also allow your mind to settle into your heart, darling, and let whatever issues you have surface and let them resonate with this reading. At the end of this energy check-in reading, I am going to give you an opportunity to ask my Mystic Being deck a question. And this is my Mystic Being deck, a yes or no question. So I'm going to give you a yes or no. Pick a card. And you can ask them anything you want in a yes or no format. And they will provide you with an answer. Now I must warn you, they are pretty stern. <laughs> The first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is The more you know about the world you live in, the more tools you will have to navigate, explore, and create the life you deserve. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you today, she represents our heart chakra. She says, listen to your heart, darling. And the last card I have for you, we're pulling in Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara again, who represents the throat chakra um, for communication and the mind, the intellect. And her message to you is, Use your intu intuition to acquire more information. Child, let me tell you what the message is today. You need to, whatever is going on in your life right now, you need to do some research. And you need to, in my opinion, I think the cards are saying take a class, a seminar, a workshop, read a book, interview people, whatever whatever you're thinking about whatever is kind of on your spirit right now and you're waffling or maybe you're not sure about it the message today is do research take a class get more information so when you're looking for information make sure you look at the pros and the cons one thing I have found is I, I like to look at reviews and I like to look at the negative reviews first because I have found some of my favorite items in the world by reading the negative reviews and thinking well I have really big legs like calves right and I was looking for some boots and every and the boots had a very negative rating like the, the you know the reviews were very negative and I read them and people were complaining about how the calves were too big for their legs well, I bought three pair because I knew they were going to go out of, that they, that the manufacturer probably was not going to carry them long because people were complaining about the exact problem that I always have. So whatever you're looking at, I always tell people when, even if you're looking to take a class, listen to the people who hate the class and the people who love the class because people may say things like, Oh, the teacher was too easy or the teacher did ABC it may be the exact thing you need so whatever research you're doing you want to make sure you're looking at the pros and the cons be open uh, and make sure that you also that make sure that the people that you ask for advice or the people that you talk to in terms of whatever is on your mind always how do I say this and try to have some idea about that person's agenda, so to speak, because everybody has an agenda, darling. Everybody has an agenda. And sometimes you can be misled because you're listening to someone who would never want to do it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody who, just so, so all I'm saying is whatever research that you're doing, just be very open about the information. Make sure you understand the sources. Um, I, let me just tell you uh, the card that says listen to your heart now this card is really important because 
Hmm, how do I say this? I have made some of the biggest mistakes in my life by not listening to my heart, but trying to find, you know, like, oh, you know, like there was a, someone who had videos saying they had made a million dollars by selling t-shirts. And I thought, really? Oh my God, that's awesome. Then they had these videos showing people like, oh, you have, you have to have this print on demand t-shirt in your Etsy shop. This is going to be a quick way to make money. No. All right. There's, there are no, I'm, if there is a quick, a get rich quick thing going on I honestly don't know about it so when you're whatever research you're doing make sure that you follow your heart in terms of making sure that it's in alignment with your soul's aspirations with what you with something you really want are you doing it just because you want to make money or is this a part of your supreme dream darling now another thing I like to tell people when you are so I don't know I'm just gonna make up a scenario so let's just say you are trying to decide as to whether or not you should go back to school or what school you should go to right and let's say that your dream was to always go to Harvard and I always tell people two plus two is four I think around the entire world you know and is your dream to go to a certain school or is your dream to get a degree? Because if your dream is to get a degree, I would take the fastest route to getting that degree. If you want to, so think about what you really want. So if you want to go back to school, you know, I always, when, and you're looking for a job, you want a job that is going to give you enough time to study. So you put your supreme dream or your your highest aspiration that should always be in the very center and every other decision you make should be around whether or not those you know um, jobs or so to speak is going to fit into what you really want. If the other things do not allow you to complete your ultimate goal that I would I personally wouldn't do it. So think about what you want to do, right? And then you want to do some research. You may need to take a class, a workshop, a seminar. You may need to talk to someone, look at reviews, but most importantly, whatever you do, listen to your heart. Make sure that you're following your passion and not just trying to follow the crowd or just trying to make money or try, do you know what I'm saying? Make sure that whatever you are pursuing is something that you are truly truly i want to say just passionate about but it's truly a part of your divine plan because i think the biggest message from this hand today is look before you leap look before you leap so if it's a relationship you know do some research talk to the the person's friends but one thing i have found is if it's, if it is a relationship ask people questions about their favorite song or music or don't like you have to go about it in an indirect way you don't want to go about it in a direct way because you'll turn that person off you want to you know talk about movies and then see their perspective as to how they felt about the characters in the movie that type of thing but whatever is going on in your life the energy check-in for today is look before you leap, do some research, and if necessary, take, you know, acquire additional information. So now i like for you to think of the question that you would like to ask the mystic beings. And you, you can pick one, two, or three, okay? Now, if you are in group one, darling, please formulate your question. And I am going to select a mystic being to answer your question for you. Let me just give it a little bit more energy. So what would be the collective answer for the highest good for the most people for group one? So we're talking about group one. Group one. And we're gonna go in. You have
have your question, darling. Make sure. If you have your question, here is your answer from the mystic being in terms of your yes or no question. What is the answer you have for this person, darling? Look for signs. Wow. Look for signs. So if, we, if you're in group one, the mystic being's answer to your question is to look for signs. So it kind of ties into the energy check-in reading, right? So when you're looking for signs, um, I don't know if you have like a favorite animal or insect. Like for example, when I see a butterfly, thumbs up. If I see a ladybug, thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I saw a hawk and I knew that was a sign for me to not do it. So before you look for your signs, you know, kind of make an agreement with the universe. So you may already have your favorite answers, but I'm telling you, it works. this really works. So when you, like if you see this sign, I don't care if it's a, you know, you can, it, you completely decide what the signs are. And if you see the one sign, you say, okay. Mm -mm. And if you see the sign that is positive for you between you and your, you know, spirit team, spiritual team, then you go for it. So that is all I have for group one. If you selected group two, darling, please go ahead and formulate your question. And I am going to ask the mystic beings or pull a card for you. What is the best answer for the collective for people who selected group two? If you selected group two, darling. The answer is if you selected group two, the mystic beings are going to answer your question for group two. And your answer is your actions will alter the outcome. So whatever question you selected, darling, your actions will determine what happens next. So if let's say if you say something like, oh, who is going to win? Maybe you need to vote or maybe you need to, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't believe in telling people what to do. I don't believe it. I'm just giving an example that whatever your question is, there is something you can do to alter the outcome. If it's about a person, I know sometimes people say things like, does such and such love me? Well, I don't know. Does that person know how you feel? Or have you, you, you know what I'm saying? The cards are clearly saying that you have an opportunity to have an impact on the outcome of your question. So darling, if you have select, that is all I have for question for group two. If you selected group number three, darling, please formulate your question. And I am going to select the mystic being to answer the question for you. So we're looking for the, the best answer for the collective for people who selected group three. All right, if you select a group three. I am going to group three. The mystic being is going to answer your question. Are you ready for your answer? It's no. So whatever your question is, the mystic being for group number three is no. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.